The rapid acceptance of Tesla's electric vehicle or EV charging standard by the automotive industry has led to rumors that Tesla may eventually also have control over components of the EV ecosystem, including batteries and perhaps self-driving technology. The fact that Tesla has the most powerful name recognition and marketing approach in the whole EV sector is now practically a given. Tesla is the top American manufacturer of electric vehicles, while BYD is still outpacing them globally. As of 2023, Tesla is only growing its profitability and market share. Additionally, Tesla achieved another victory earlier this month that is altering the competitive landscape of the EV market. So, are you curious about what's coming up? Don't forget to like and subscribe. General Motors or GM established a cooperation with Tesla to use Tesla's extensive North American charging network in a groundbreaking move. In addition to giving GM vehicles the ability to use 12,000 Tesla fast chargers, this strategic agreement will also install Tesla's North American Charging Standard or NACS charging port in GM EV starting in 2025. GM is now one of the leading US car original equipment manufacturers or OEMs using Tesla charging technology in its EVs, joining Ford in doing so. This move is anticipated to save GM up to $400 million on its own anticipated investments in charging infrastructure for electric vehicles. In light of this, why is this partnership such a huge deal? Well, the North American Charging Standard or NACS is a proprietary plug design used by Tesla superchargers that is incompatible with EVs made by other automakers. The Open Source Combined Charging System or CCS plug standard is used by the majority of other EVs and charging stations in the US. Tesla EVs can currently utilize NACS chargers, but only Tesla EVs can use CCS chargers without an adapter. In contrast, owners of non-Tesla EVs that use CCS have had to deal with a patchwork of networks and frequently faulty equipment. Tesla customers, on the other hand, have access to the company's numerous and dependable fast charging stations. Detroit automakers are becoming increasingly concerned about the limitations of CCS as they speed up EV manufacturing in an effort to sell more electrified vehicles to consumers. Initially, Tesla created the supercharger network to allay potential customers' worries about charging while on the road. The size and dependability of its fast charging network was such a crucial selling point for the company when it first began courting clients wary of switching to electric vehicles and it has remained so ever since. Contrarily, Ford and GM and other automakers have found it difficult to increase sales of their own EVs because of the patchiness and subpar reliability of the CCS network. Although potential purchasers of Ford or GM EVs may enjoy their test drives, both have lagged behind Tesla in terms of charging infrastructure. These new agreements should significantly level the playing field for charging. Tesla's plugs are far smaller and lighter than CCS fast charging connectors, which can be difficult for elderly or disabled drivers to use. This is another argument in favor of Tesla's NACS standard versus CCS. Increasing access is a top focus for Ford and GM, who are both eager to win over new EV buyers. Reliability concerns with CCS chargers have been viewed as a potential obstacle to widespread adoption for automakers like Ford and GM who are staking billions on a large shift to EVs. But after disclosing the technical requirements and encouraging charging network providers and other manufacturers to use its plug design, Tesla opened up the NACS standard in November of last year. That modification provided a shortcut and the possibility of significant cost reductions for both Ford and GM. In exchange for allowing its rivals to use its first-rate charging infrastructure, what does Tesla gain? Well, the EV market leader will undoubtedly appreciate the extra money Ford and GM EV customers give supercharger stations each time they use one of their vehicles to charge. It will also benefit from the tacit endorsement of its technology by seasoned competitors, and it's likely to ask for a piece of the public EV charging subsidies provided by the bipartisan infrastructure law. Even if all manufacturers eventually embrace the NACS standard, the agreements do not guarantee that Tesla will have a monopoly on public charging in the United States. Competitor charging 
monitoring network providers are now free to add chargers with NACS plugs, and they almost surely will as a result of the EV giant's move to make the NACS standard public. The alliances with the current two top Detroit automakers represent a significant victory for Tesla and its charging technology. It is anticipated that this will increase pressure on other automakers to adopt Tesla's technology, as well as on the US government, which is spending billions to develop an EV charging infrastructure. Like the Ford arrangement, the GM-Tesla agreement is probably advantages for both businesses. Customers of GM and Ford should have access to fast chargers more than twice as often as before, and use of Tesla's network will rise as a result. According to Tesla, there are 4,947 supercharger stations worldwide, with around 45,000 supercharger connectors. The availability of public charging for electric vehicles is a big worry for prospective purchasers, and only Tesla's own network has been successfully established. Instead, those manufacturers Manufacturers have disclosed alliances with independent firms that have frequently disappointed and have been unreliable to owners. Most motorists track their travel distance from home to neighboring destinations. However, EV purchasers who desire longer road trips or who lack access to a garage with a charger frequently worry about having access to safe public charging. All of Tesla's US rivals are vying for first place in the EV race. At a time when GM and Ford both claim that their EV programs aren't profitable and won't be for at least another year, bringing in more money can only help the company's pace. Companies like ChargePoint, EVgo, or Electrify America that are building their own charging networks, such as automobile manufacturers following Tesla, would feel pressured. They would need to make sure that every one of their fast chargers can connect to the Tesla socket. Or they could up their competitiveness by, for instance, putting more stations in strategic locations and improving their dependability. The other startups may find it difficult to draw in investors because Tesla's network is accessible to more types of automobiles. Consumers should have additional charging alternatives when they adjust, though. Government subsidies for EVs and charging stations number in the hundreds of thousands at the local and national levels. The majority are not choosing an established victor so that adoption rises irrespective of equipment, even though some may require the NACS standard in the future. The optimal funding strategy is agnostic since the market should be in charge of determining which solution is required. According to industry agreement, this announcement won't have a significant impact on Europe and China because they already have strong EV adoption rates and extensive charging infrastructure based on other standards. As we all are aware, the CCS standard is used in all Tesla vehicles sold in Europe. However, depending on how broadly this standard is used in the future, North American supply chain forces might start to spread. Government subsidies are a major driver of the shift to electric vehicles, which now make up around 7% of new automobile sales. If the batteries meet specific sourcing conditions, EV customers can receive federal tax credits of up to $7,500 for vehicles made in the United States. Manufacturers can receive tax credits of between $2,700 and $4,500 per car for battery packs built in the US or up to $45 per kilowatt hour or kWh. However, competitors are most concerned that Tesla may weaponize those attractive incentives to further reduce vehicle prices. In a previous interview with investors, Musk said he would be willing to forgo profit margins to increase car sales. Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, has warned of an EV price war after Tesla already reduced the Model 3's pricing by nearly 20% since the beginning of 2023. The once luxury priced Tesla vehicles become absurdly affordable when you factor in state tax incentives for EVs. Additionally, Tesla owners are unlikely to be overjoyed that the EV manufacturer is allowing other access to its supercharger network. Although the alliance of opposing companies boosts Tesla's revenue, it might irritate some of its customers. It should come as no surprise that the Tesla supercharging experience outperforms the CCS-based public EV charging networks in terms of dependability and uptime. It's a big reason why Tesla automobiles continue to dominate the market despite the availability of so many alternative EV vehicle options. 
Many years of innumerable feedback from consumers about bad public EV charging experiences led to Ford and now GM making their choice. Customers always have the last say, and Tesla will most likely expand its supercharger network to accommodate this massive flood of new drivers, and it will significantly contribute to the next wave of EV adoption. Musk introduced Tesla's first six superchargers in September 2012. Early sites were built covertly along highways in communities like Folsom and Gilroy in California. Forget about range anxiety, Tesla intended to make long road journeys simple for its customers. 11 years later, Tesla's choice to spend billions of dollars building and running its own charging network has given it a significant competitive advantage in the US over both charging and automotive competitors. We'll observe a meaningful acceleration of EV adoption and actual progress towards our goals for a healthy planet. When the EV charging sector can provide all EV drivers with a straightforward, frictionless, and continuous charging experience that they can rely on. Thank you for watching. Want to see more of our content? Make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop.